Hey everyone, this is Dan at SP Motorsport. On today's product spotlight, we're gonna be going over our two and a half inch suspension packages that we're offering for the 2011 to 2023 F250 and F3. One of the reasons we decided to do a suspension package, which is something that you know we never really set out to do, is we had a lot of customers who would call us and ask our recommendation. You know, they they came to us for performance things and reliability things for their trucks, and and they wanted to know what we recommended or what we may have ran uh, on our own personal vehicles. So there's a lot of other kits similar in a way to the package we have here, but they're not as put together. So we had recommendations, but we would have to send them multiple places. We would say, you know, get this from here, get that from there. And at that point kind of sparked a thing in my head, like, you know what, it would be nice to offer a package to our customers that they could go on our website, everything was there, nothing was subpar as far as build quality, uh, ride quality um, We even have some stuff that we just released uh, We'll get into that here in a second that we included in the kit and Just basically give an all-encompassing package to the customer that they could literally buy with one click and not have to go You know 20 different places to get 20 different things. So um, We're not you know gonna do humongous lift kits and we're not gonna get into crazy suspension stuff, but we wanted to give the customers that want to use their truck every day, pick it up a little bit, use the truck as it's supposed to be used, and give them kind of what they need to do all those things, and not much more, you know, we don't we don't wanna get into, you know, six inch lifts and things like that. So, uh, we'll kind of go down the line here, and I'm gonna go over uh, each individual thing and kind of what we have going on. All right, guys, so, one of the big things that we wanted to do was set shocks up properly for everyday use. So one of the things that I personally never liked is it always seemed like if you went with one shock manufacturer, it would be harsh. You go with another shock manufacturer and it's too soft or it just doesn't ride right. So what we did is we got performance series shocks with Fox or SP spec valve. So they're, they're set up the way that we want them set up and we feel through testing and everything obviously that they are the best match for all around. So you get the ride quality, but you also get the ability to tow and you get the ability to um, go off road a little bit and you still have all the control and everything that you need to do that properly. So, uh, as far as the shocks go, it's SP spec valving for Fox. We do a two and a half inch front spacer, but we also do a reservoir mount to allow the reservoir to kind of be in the wheel well in a uh, horizontal um, mounting location so that if you're looking through your wheel well, you can actually see the reservoir. And this is all like you, you put it in, it's in a stack, you know, this is how it kind of goes into the truck. Um, it's all powder coated. It comes with the sound isolators. Um, the one thing that, you know, you may ask why we did a reservoir on the uh, front suspension and not the rear. Well, we changed and we tried things on the rear and we didn't see a gain and we didn't see any like negatives not running the reservoir on the rear. So we got the valving happy. We were happy with the way the valving was on the rear without a reservoir. But the front, we actually felt like we noticed a difference through testing and I, we feel it changed the ride. So once again, we're not giving you any more than what you need, just kind of what you need. So uh, back to the uh, spacer here, we aren't doing coils. We're not, you know, we're not replacing the factory coil because 
The factory coil has a lot of testing, has a lot of development on it, and it rides great. So a lot of people that have messed with lift kits throughout their life, they know that the factory coils are really good and they ride nice. So we wanted to retain those, and that's why we went spacer out for adding the front lip. So the one thing that we do have in our kit as well is the one inch rear blocks. So the one inch rear blocks, if your truck has less than a three inch factory rear block, you're gonna wanna run that. So this is gonna be an optional end part. You're gonna kinda of have to go and measure. This, this kit is designed to round a three inch rear block. Um, so if you were to run those with the, the three inch rear block, add those in with everything else, it's actually gonna set the truck at kind of like a factory stance, maybe a, maybe not quite as raked, but more of a factory stance. So if you're towing a lot with the truck, you know, we do recommend the rear block. Um, this kit allows you to, depending on the wheel offset, it allows you to run up to a 37 inch tire. Um, as I said, that's very dependent on wheel offset and what you would run, but a 35 inch tire all day long. Um, so keep that in mind when you're, when you're looking at this kit. Uh, if you have a factory three inch rear block and you want it to kind of just sit perfectly level and that's how, you know, you, that's how you're driving it, don't even worry about the, rear, the one inch rear that we sell. If you want to keep that factory look and keep the ass end of the truck up just a little bit, you're gonna wanna run that block, the R block, and you can option that in. So that's just a little tidbit of information on that. Obviously it's just a one inch rear block, there's nothing special there, but it does set the ride height in different ways. So that's an option, you can add that in. Um, and the suspension package is offered in a stage one and a stage two version. So if you want to do your own shocks, because a lot of people do, but you do want, you know, say like the reservoir mount and everything else that was, is gonna come in our kit, you can get a stage one version that comes with no shocks. That's the difference. The stage two is everything you see here with the, the properly valve shocks, our, our lift plates, everything on the table. So that kind of covers that. These are uh, the sway bar brackets, all the hardware, everything that you need, even the, uh, the, the bump stop risers, everything's there. Now, we're really big on suspension geometry and we're really big on keeping that ride, keeping the truck behaving the way it's supposed to as if it was factory. And obviously, you know, we do have our track bar bushing that is for um, taking care of some of the death wobble issues and it just stiffens the steering up really nice and makes everything really direct. So we always recommend doing this, even if it's a stock truck. So um, obviously we're including that in the kit. That's our, uh, that's our uh, billet track bar bushing. And then to keep the geometry correct, we're not, we're not doing a adjustable track bar that can wear out and have issues. We're doing a full cast bracket that sets everything at the exact geometry and controls the length of the track bar and everything that it's gonna need to do with a, with a two and a half inch lift. So uh, we also, if you, if, you, if you don't have or you want to option in our puller for the track bar bushing, since you do retain the factory track bar, that's another option. You can, you can option that in or not. You can take track bar off, push it out with a press. So that's kind of the basis of the kit. So basically, as I said in the beginning here, the biggest thing that we wanted to do is we wanted to give our customers a all-inclusive package because we have a lot of people that they want, sus they want to modify their suspension, they want a little bit higher truck, they, but they don't just want a leveling kit. They want a little bit more. So you go looking for shock and then you have to go looking for track bar stuff, and then you have to go looking for this and that. So we wanted you guys to be able to have a option that was a vetted option that you could basically go on and click one thing and you have the whole package, you're all ready to go. So that was the kind of the whole thing that brought this up. All right guys, so kind of as I was saying, we have two options on the kit. 
We have a stage one and a stage two. The stage one is everything you see here minus the shots. And then the stage two is with our shot packing. So, um, uh, you know, as I said before, uh, you can fit up to a 37 inch tire if the, if the wheel offset is absolutely perfect and you get all that stuff dialed. Um, but 35 all day long. Uh, the one inch rear block is an option. You can option that in or out of the, the either, either package, stage one or two. And that would be for um, trucks. If you go and you measure your rear block, a, th a three inch rear block is kind of what this is designed around. And if it is a little bit lower than that, depending on the model or the package of the truck from the factory, uh, that, that's a great option to get you there. Or if you wanna run these with the three inch rear factory rear block in these, it'll give you more of a tow stance or more of a factory stance so that if you're towing a lot, your truck will not look like a squatting dog basically. So, um, so yeah, so that's, that's pretty much it. So uh, if you want to check out the, the death wobble video in our billet track bar bushing, we have that in a separate video if you wanna learn a little bit more about that component by itself and the tool and everything, um, you can check that out. And if you guys have any questions, you can hit us, hit us up on social media. You can email us, give us a call. Um, we'd be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. And uh, we hope this is helpful. We hope that we're providing you guys with some stuff that you actually want. And we're pretty excited about this because with the amount of testing and everything that we did and the amount of thought we kind of put into the whole thing, we're pretty excited to get it out there for you guys. And uh, yeah, so we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.